right, man. So look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. And today we are reacting to my boy Officer Tatum. Okay, we have to react to Officer Tatum's thoughts on this situation. But the title of this video is already crazy. Okay, trans Starbucks employee attacks customer after getting misgendered. Now, number one, I don't believe there's a such thing as getting misgendered. You're either a boy, you're either a girl. It's not such thing as getting misgendered, okay? Unless, you know, you a girl, you acting like a girl, you dress like a girl, you look like a girl, and you are a girl. And somebody call you a man. Now, that's when you can kind of come in. But if you're a man and you're dressed like a girl and you act like a girl, you're a man. <laughs> Simple as that. But without further ado, man, if I get my boy Austin Tatum thoughts on this, I already seen this video on Twitter. So, I'm just going to, this is my first time reacting to Austin Tatum part of the video or what he got to say about it so you know what i'm afraid to do man let's get it let's go Call me transphobic. You are transphobic. Now get out. You're not having one doing You're not having one doing You're not You're not having one doing this. You're not not having one You're not having 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 Boy, I wish you would touch my camera while I'm filming. Oh, it's up and it's stuck. It is up and it's stuck. See, I didn't see that last part of the video. I just seen them going back at it. The last part, I did not see, bro. I, oh, I wish you would touch my camera while I'm filming. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, these people in the trans community, if you, if you think, and this is just my opinion, if it wasn't, if a person... If you're claiming that a person doesn't have mental illness or there's not something else going on in the person's mind that are that's trans, I, I don't know what to tell you. Why is it that we see a perpetuation of videos like this? And I'm going to show you the video right here. Somebody accidentally misgendered you or intentionally misgendered you. Why do they get so crazy over it? Oh, 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 me, 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 me. I know, I know, I know. This is why they get so crazy, or because they cannot, they don't want, they don't want to hear the truth. Okay, they don't want to hear that the the simple fact that oh no, you are a man. You may dress like a woman, you may act like a woman, but you are biologically a man. And they don't want to hear that. So when you say oh hey, excuse me, sir, excuse me, excuse, they what you just telling me? Like they get so offended. It, they get so offended, bro. Seriously, I mean, and it's not, I'm not saying it's everybody in this type, in, in this community. It's not everybody in this community, but literally probably 95% of people in the LGBT community gets offended. Either when you misgender them, I'm talking, speak, I'm specifying for transgenders, you misgender them, they get offended, they get hurt by, oh, it's ma'am, it's this. No, I'm not going to call you what you identify as, because if you identified as a cat, you would want me to call you a cat, or you probably would want me to rear at you, and I'm not doing that. I'm not going to look, I'm not going to make myself look stupid, because you want to look stupid. Like, even with these little pronoun stuff, I'm not going to allow my vocabulary to be at your level, because you want me to call you they, their, them. No, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. That is stupid. It's already bad enough. I don't have a good vocabulary, but my vocabulary is definitely not going to be that bad because you want to call me. Oh, you want me to say, oh, they and there. No, I'm not doing that. These people are, these people are like, <laughs> I don't know what to call them. I don't want to, I don't know what to, I don't want to say mentally ill because no mental illness is a serious thing. And these people are just stupid. They are just stupid. That's what they are. Just stupid. Just plain out stupid. It, it, it tells me that they have some other stuff going on in them that they blow off the handle when they feel disrespected by somebody who could possibly be unintentionally misgendering them. And, and they live in a world of delusion where they think because they want to feel like a woman that they actually look like a woman. <laughs> and therefore, the, the public should be able to identify them even as mainly as they look like a woman because they have decided to identify as a woman. You know, in, in, in the world of transgenderism and LGBTQ, AARP, NAACP, NCAA sports, that <laughs> is, is, is such a contradiction. Because if you see a person that appears to be a woman, technically you can't think that that's a woman. You see a person that appears to be a man, technically you can't think or believe that that's a man. 
And then the crazy thing is that a person that's non-binary is mad at you because you picked one. And then the person that's trying to be a woman that's actually a man is mad because you don't pick that they're a woman. It's crazy to me. Listen to this deranged fool attack this lady and her husband appear or somebody else that's off camera. Wrote a clip. Call me transphobic. You are transphobic. Now get out. You're not coming on. Get out. You are trespassing. Get out. You are trespassing. Get out. You are trespassing. Apparently, you said something right in front of the little kid see the little kid popping in the screen who do you who do you think you are why do you feel like you're entitled who do you seriously think you are you you don't have the right to touch anybody's property. They have the right to record. It's public. It's a public place. They can record if they want to. And, and, and on top of that, he wasn't even in the store. He was outside of the store. On the door. And you feel like you're entitled enough to go knock that man's phone out of his hand. You don't want to get the old lady a refund. You first you knock my you you knock my husband whoever whatever I'm just saying if that was her husband that's that's messed up because you didn't give me a refund and you knocked his phone out of it. This man, this world is just ridiculous, bro. This world is seriously. I, I have no words. I, I don't understand. Like even even when the the dude at that other incident was like, "It's ma'am, I'm on." Girl, <laughs> excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. It is ma'am. You, you need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. General. Right beforehand, you said sir. Sir? Mother take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a sir. I apologize. Mother I apologize now. You know, it's like, I, I'm not understanding, right? Because a, a rational, reasonable person and a person that wants compassion, you would you would think that they would show compassion. You would think that if you're a man and you want to be like a woman or you want to be associated with women, that you actually love women and appreciate womanhood. In your appreciation and love for women and womanhood, that you wouldn't thwart women's sports. You wouldn't jump into a woman's sport and beat them all and be like, yeah, I'm a woman. Why would you do that? That to me is selfishness and inconsiderate. Oh my God. And, and, and I would argue mentally ill. Or also when a person says you a man or they misgender you, well, you should have enough, I guess, self-awareness that, oh, this person may not accept what I'm doing. And it's okay because this is my decision. And that person has their decision and opinion. I know that I'm a man and I'm transitioning to be a woman. I know when I look in the mirror, I don't really look as much like a woman as I want to. So I understand why people may see me that way. And I, I don't have to get mad at anybody. I love them and I want them to show me love in return. If somebody accidentally or intentionally misgender me, I have to understand the world isn't made for me. I have to exist in the world and be patient in, 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 with people as I would want them to be patient with me. Why Bro, see, I, I truly like that. I truly love what Officer Tatum is saying because it's the truth. It's literally the truth. Y'all ever heard the saying? It's not even a saying. It's also in the Bible too, but, uh, well, it's a saying too, but it's also in the Bible. Okay, y'all get what I'm trying to say. But y'all ever heard, um, what is it? I just lost my train of thought. You read what you sow. You know what I'm saying? You literally read what you sow. What you put out is what you're going to get back. So if you are a person that's always angry, always want to cuss somebody out when they do something wrong to you, well, guess what? You're going to, that, uh, another, somebody else is going to do the same thing back to you and you're going to see like, do I really like being cussed out? Do I really like when people are angry at me? 
You know what I'm saying? Like that that just that's just how the game rolls. So when all these some when I'm not gonna say all, but necessarily I should say all, because I haven't came across one transgender on the internet that was actually nice about when somebody make a mistake and misgender them. Like I said, that misgender stuff is out the window, bro. It's two genders. It's literally two genders. I know a I know an actual female when I see one, and I know a female or a male that looks like a female. I know the difference. Unless you just went all out, you got makeup, everything, and then maybe I couldn't tell the difference. And maybe you will be called ma'am. But if you literally look like a man and you look so masculine and you got strong muscles, and I'm going to say, bro, you're a dude. I, I ain't going to lie. This whole time, I thought Michelle Obama was a man. I thought she was a man. I still do to this day. Until I get proof, I feel like Michelle Obama is a man. That is, I don't even know. I don't even know what to go. That's Michael. That's how that, Michael. I feel like, that's besides the point. But I'm just saying, like, that's how I feel. It's not because I don't like Barack Obama. It's not because of that. I mean, seriously, I feel like that's a man. That she looks too masculine to be a woman. But anyways, let's go. Why wouldn't people default to that? Why it's always a default to getting their feelings hurt and, and being violent? Mm. If you're so secure and you being a woman, it doesn't matter what people think about you or say about you. You should be confident that you are a woman, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's true. When is it going to stop? When are these people going to stop being deranged? And of course, this video is getting... When they find Jesus. Let me say When they find Jesus. That's when That's when it'll all stop. I'm just saying. Obviously, a lot of negative traction. Shout out to Lexit Movement for, for writing this. I, I would love to see the full version of this video. I would love to see how all this actually started. What was the misgendering factor? The lady is arguing, I'm not tra transphobic. And... I didn't misgender nobody. And the trans person is out clapping in the face and being disrespectful and even physically violent. Mm. If Starbucks, see, the thing is they, they're in a pickle, right? Starbucks should fire this dude. He should never work at a Starbucks again. If, if an employee treats a customer like that, they should never work there again. If you don't like what a person says to you, you should have enough decorum to say, Ask them nicely to leave the store. If they refuse, you can call the authorities. There's no reason for you to get into a physical confrontation with somebody. And the only reason the trans was doing that to the woman, because he knew the woman wasn't going to fight him. Hmm. And the only reason he came out there and attacked the dude, because he knew they were passive. I guarantee you, if my wife were to misgender somebody, and the, and the, and the dude want to come out and confront me, hey, bruh. You, I, I, I'm gonna treat you like your biological sex. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it right there, man. I appreciate Officer Tatum, though. I literally appreciate Officer Tatum, man. The man is such a wise guy, bro. A wise guy. You know what I'm saying? And my thoughts on the whole situation, uh, like I said, I truly, I, I don't believe in that misgender and stuff. Okay, that that junk is, you know what I'm saying? But to back, to piggyback off what Officer Tatum said, literally, if he was to come outside and confront me. I'm safe, but these hands are not. I'm gonna be real with you, and but I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna beat you out of love. Like that's why I, I that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna beat you out of love. <laughs> you feel me? Because let you knock some stuff out of my hand. Oh man, I'm sorry, but you just touched me. That's that's assault. You just knocked my seven hundred, a thousand some dollar phone out my hand. That's assault. I have the right. To put these donkeys on you. But I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to do none of that extra stuff. I might shove you, push you on the ground and, and give you a little uh. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, hey, you a man. You are a male. That's what you are. That's what you was born as. You look, you still look like one. Apparently, them little hormone pills ain't doing no, no justice. You need to get off of them. They're not doing no justice. I feel like this was very unacceptable. It was very unacceptable, especially as a grown man. As a grown man, you should not be acting the way that this man just acted. If somebody make a mistake, that's like somebody make a mistake and saying your name wrong. If somebody, if somebody say, hey, uh, Jalen, or not, my name is Jalen, but let's say somebody say Jaden. My name is not Jaden, it's Jalen. Like, no, I'm not doing that, bro. It's too much. It's other stuff to be focused on right now in this world. 
all that extra nonsense stuff, man, it's too much, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.